Hello guys, welcome back to another video here on the Backlog Gamer channel. We are playing Red Dead Redemption 2. We are in St. Denis. There's several uh, things we're going to do here in this episode. Uh, I've got uh, uh, Stranger Missions all over the place down here. Uh, this is the Rain Falls uh, mission. Um, right, I get that started. Also, uh, Josiah Tr Trelawney, that riverboat uh, heist that you do. And then we've also got uh, Albert Mason up here that I want to go do probably right now. And then, of course, there's other stuff that we had from before. And then Mary Beth. And the last one we've done, Hosea. So I think in this one I'm going to hit these uh, side stranger missions right here. And this one in Rain Falls. And then Albert Mason. And then I'm going to come back down towards the end of the video and we'll do end it with uh, the riverboat heist, which I think will work out phenomenal. Spending time with the family, watching movies, putting up Christmas trees, all that good stuff. So I kind of took a break from it for a little while. Oh, 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 oh we're right here. You must be damn stupid if you think you can come back here. Come now. Excuse me. Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, I, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle mm. Flats. Gentlemen, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> And even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his... No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. Mr. Miller, the counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Got that done. Now let's go do um, let's go to Albert Mason maybe. 
I wanted to pay my uh, I wanted to pay my bounty while I was here, but I'll come back and do that later. Let's go do uh, this one before it disappears again. All right. Ride, ride, ride. Uh, guys, I think this may be a little ride again. So what we're going to do is we are going to edit the video to where we will be there right now. We're here, guys. All right, let's go over and see what old <clears throat> Albert Mason has going on. Oh, gosh, I got a tickle on my throat or something. about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today. Hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot. Then you'll get eaten. What a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. If you carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <clears throat> the 10% who survived, they're the nasty ones. All right then. Um, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, into the west. Oh, into the northwest, there. That, that's probably where we should look. Let's go look, then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. Up on the bank, here we go. I'm a great look. boat I'm rowing. Boars. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Fiend! It's got it! Quick, quick! I must get this shot! This one's right there. We caught him! In the middle of his dinner! This is history making, truly. Nature, in all its glory <laughs> and cruelty. Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found Oh, about you. knocked you over right there. Look at that thing. Okay. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Well, the gators got some catching up to do there. Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belts. Bodies. We're run over him. Let's try to run over him. anything out of gator leather that the market desires. And all a gator's gonna do with your leather is eat it. Chew on it a while. Quite. It's hardly fair. Where do you go? You know, in the season, there are more Oh, he's up on the bank now. Here than, than you know what? Alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer. <laughs> yes. Yes, there. Oh, no, he's gone. Ah. Could you stop the boat just there, off the island? Sure. When we stop too long, locals are going to start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please. He's quite something. <laughs> I can take that fellow's likeness. It might, it might just save him from the taxidermist. Maybe I want this monster stuff in on display. Well, that's the spirit. Out you go then. Get him and uh, get him to notice you, and then turn tail and run. I don't like. The... Yes, not one bit. Oh, he's awake. I hope you're slow. Put that away. We're conservationists, not killers. Stop him! 
What a specimen! Get in the boat. I don't know what I do without you, sir. I really don't. Head southeast, good man. We have a final spot to check. Seventeen feet, nineteen feet, twenty-one feet with a five-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's twenty-foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a twelve-foot skiff. No. This is in the seventies, eighties. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. Sure we gonna get through here? No, we're not. Fool. Let's go around. Use his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us. Especially with the big one. Well, let's turn, 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 turn. We'll just go right across that right there. That'd be good too. All right, let's go over here now. I guess I gotta go way over that way. So I can't make it through that, can I? We'll try it though. We'll see. Right. Right. There. In the cane break. That's a likely spot for one. There. In the channel. You see its head? Excellent. Beast in repose. All as calm as the predator lurks. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. If you say so. Anyway. I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Oh, well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. Ah, yes. Doctor here. Just pull up to... That should do it. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. Are they gonna be any good? Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well... I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. All right, got that one finished. Now, <clears throat> we're going to head all the way back into St. Denise. Oh, 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 what is it? Is that an alligator right there? It is. That's an alligator right there. Okay, let's... Uh... Bam. Beautiful. I just want you to know you're my. I would love to get all the animal species in my. Whatever. <clears throat> Easy girl. Easy girl. I'm a bond level this horse up to four and then. Oh, I'm going to kill it. So what's going to happen. I'm going to matter in heck too. Whoa. Take up the whole road. There we go. There Alright guys, again, I'm going to cut this until we get to uh, St. Denis. So we'll see you there because we are here. And this is another one. Stranger mission. Get a lot of stranger missions started here. Look out. Look out. Here we go. Wah. Yeah. This is the flower guy. One moment, please. This hey. is extremely delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. 
Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no. I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Yeah, be careful with the China. Sir, it is French. Or Belgian? No, no, no. They are Philistines in that area, not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. <clears throat> I don't think that I ever, um, I don't think I ever done this one as far as, uh, as far as a side mission. Is this my horse? That is my horse, ain't it? I hope so. I think it's my horse. Yeah, it's my horse. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh. I don't think I've ever done that uh, stranger side mission there with that guy hunting the flowers and stuff. I may do it later on with John, or if I come across them with Arthur, I'll do them, but, um, oh God, watch out. <laughs> oh, 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 watch out. What the heck just happened here? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm going to get caught by the cops. Oh gosh, I guess I am. I better run. Oh my god. Let's go somewhere. Oh man. Oh man. Let me get out of here. Oh my gosh, come on, smoke, smoke, smoke. Go, 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 Dodging bullets, dodging bullets. Dodging bullets. Dodging bullets. Dodging bullets. Dodging bullets. Dodging bullets. Pooch on that one. I'm about to kill this cop right here. This one cop is going to be my downfall right here, I have a feeling. 
You know what, dude? Come on, man. Quit following me. There we go. Now. Now let's get out of here. There we go. All right. Oh my God, what's going on? Good Lord. $45 bounty. All right, guys, let's head back into St. Denise now. And um, I'm gonna go over and loot this cop right quick. That's what I'm going to do. All right, guys, we're going to see uh, Hosea Treadwell, I think is his name. Treadway, Treadwell, whatever. Uh, and do the <clears throat> riverboat. And I had to go pay my bounty. <laughs> Whoa. All right, horse, stop. Stop your craziness there. There he is. I guess we're going to start this mission. I grew out my hair and everything for this one mission because I cut it all off on this mission right here. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. Yeah? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Mmm, yay. I like that. Hello. Fix a me up. Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. I guess that's the one I gotta buy. Jealous. Okay. Come on, let's oh. take you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight. <clears throat> going to the barber, the going down. Out. Let me get a look it's at myself right quick. Actually. What is? The action he has planned. Look at that hair on my face. I've worked my butt off growing that out. Play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. I've got to get my deal all the way up to the top. you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. We're going to get a haircut. And I hate walking slow in games. I wish I could speed this up, but I can't. We're walking as slow as they'll let me. All my right. Yes. Smarten up my dear hick friend here. All right, guys, here we go. We're cutting the hair off. This fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Yep, let's go there. All right, we're done. There, Every time I've played smart. this game, that's what I've done. Come on. Let's I've grown my hair out to this to point. <clears throat> it just feels right to me. It just feels right to me. Stare that feller down. Brought enough trouble around here. Sturdy looking wagon you got. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach. We can't winnie up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to buy. 
Which reminds me. No shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's the mark? You all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keeps some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. You'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I feel like we're going to be swimming. Am I playing with? Don't worry. <laughs> that has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. There are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Here we go. We're going to rob the river boat. I like the way he looks at people. What is it, boy? I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed river boat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get hmm. the cocktail? Sit at the poker table. Sit at the poker table. I'm going to sit at this poker table Are right you here. Us? You dang right I am. I'm going to win some money. No, I can't sit. I Good can't, evening, no. gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this. Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life, <laughs> where would the fun be? Wait. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everybody's all in. Hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Well, I am. Well, so, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but... 
I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Let's see here. This is going to be all a in. long game. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Interesting. They're cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning, well, I heard, well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Hmm, interesting. Why? I got a watch. <clears throat> An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay, I trust you. Now play, as you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Ha ha ha. Hair cage. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen. Yeah, I'll just leave all my money on the table. Out for me. I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. Well, let's go. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Hmm. Next, so we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know. I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. I remember the first time I played this part, it was like, uh... <clears throat> Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Mm. I guess you were right. Brand. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> well, let's loot this thing. Huh? Oh, in the jaw. In the, the jaw. Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Well, let's go. 
I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. <laughs> this is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life, you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. Sir, my friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There okay. he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. Something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Ah! Mm. Come on, Roger. We gotta get out of here. This is gonna suck. Let's go, boom. Boom. Oh, I missed him. Boom. Oh my god, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, this ain't my shot. Silly me. I clean forgot to bring my gondola. Damn it. We gotta go. Come on. What about the alligators? I'm just swimming. I'm just swimming. Oh. <clears throat> Never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Seven hundred fifty. That ain't bad. Hmm. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Leave me some comments on the videos. Let me know what games you'd like to see me play. I've got Arthur all cleaned up and shaven and ready to go. Um, I'm gonna stop the video right now. Let's see, guys, where we're at here. All right, guys. So in the next video, that's what we're gonna work on. And um, again, thank you for watching.